I can explain due to time constraints, I had someone else write while I dictated it oh, really? Despite any disbelief, I have been honest in my words I will write several articles myself for UT peruse as per your instructions, we found books with Lord Shao's commentary fortunately, I managed to avoid being caught writing in front of him look like he enjoys taking commentary did he uncover any flaws in your explanation? I used to ask him to guide me in practicing calligraphy he wholeheartedly taught me for an extended period. Then Xuan, whether my handwriting has improved? Look, my fingers have calluses from dedicated practice I have mastered your handwriting, so even if we part ways I will still feel your presence and essence these memories will be etched into my soul for a lifetime no we won't part ways then check it what do you really want? You know it Xuan, I love you just do what I said. Or, don't you love me? I do I just I want to marry you as soon as possible not important I'll be gentle later on, he was deeply devoted to me and I forgot about calligraphy I thought he was forgotten too, but he hasn't princess, could you do it now? I also learned to imitate his handwriting, and now I'll practice it again I might be able to get away with it I feel like I'm still attending school your highness, as per your instructions, I have placed the books with your commentary in a prominent position okay did you forget? I will help you remember, word by word, your commitments, to fulfill them one by one. A few days later look, isn't it similar to your handwriting? I live in the Xiaozu kingdom, while you reside in the Day Empire though we are far apart, my heart remains steadfast I hope your heart mirrors mine, and that you do not disappoint my longing one day, we will meet again, destiny willing and I can explain about the anklet look, this is the anklet it was zero and the left foot but it was covered up the last time it has always been the princess Xingqin, do you really think I'm so easily deceived? You misunderstand me did you already throw that key away? All the while I cherished and loved you deeply loved me deeply? This tone makes me feel increasingly uneasy. Then what when did I place this paper inside? You truly showed your sincerity, a draft of lies you might have numerous drafts of your own back in the day no, actually it's the first time that's right, back then I was insignificant enough to warrant such elaborate preparations from you please calm down let's stay focused and avoid digressing I made these preparations because I genuinely care about you have you thought it through? On the left foot. Yes do you actually believe that I would have trouble distinguishing left from right? Is there even a remote possibility, just hypothetically speaking, that perhaps it was you who had difficulty telling left from right? And the wrong color it seems the craftsman's skills were lacking, as the anklet has lost its color. What about this? Enough we both know what happened in the past I had originally thought about letting you cover it up and turn the page on the past can t tolerate I never expected you to be so outrageous, with numerous mistakes and shortcomings if this is the kind of sincerity you want to show, then it's better for you to just leave don't waste your time and miss the chance to meet a better man Lord Sha- oh I was just worried that you are still dwelling on what happened in the past honestly, I don't hold a grudge over such a trivial real matter you seem to overestimate your significance if you hadn't come, I would have probably forgotten about you that's true or you would have confronted me much earlier let's skip the pretense and just get along as friends am I wrong again? Could we put this behind us? What else can I do? I don't want to see you trying to trick me I knew all along that you were a forgiving person you won't hold grudges about this in the future, right? I encounter a multitude of individuals attempting to play petty tricks, I don't want to let the things you do bother me at all well there must be many girls who admire you naturally, you won't hold any grudges against me in reality, it would be inappropriate for us to engage in matters of love, considering the vast differences in our status status? Ah, obviously you are the uncle of the emperor of Dei and I am the daughter of the emperor of Xiaozu it sounds like you should be of my grandfather's generation would you always be so kind to me, because I am still a young and naive Tilda Macron princess from a neighboring country have you finished talking? Thank you for forgiving me let us henceforth engage only in objective discussions of official matters I don't want to meddle in your personal matters anymore, 
especially since you have been praising my fairness and tolerance over the past few days. That's nice despite his intimidating appearance, he is actually very approachable. Seven days later what has Princess Xing Chen been doing these past few days? She and her attendants have been having a great time exploring the city, and engaging in some wild shopping sprees she shows her generosity towards us by purchasing gifts to distribute among the staff at the palace Princess Xing Chen is so nice us yes everyone. These days have been absolutely delightful, almost like a vacation I managed to purchase some stylish new clothes and jewelry, experienced the bustling energy, quite different from our country, and now I have a beautiful gentleman around Princess Xing Chen I apologize for the previous misinformation Lord Shao is not known for his magnanimity instead, he is a person who seeks vengeance for every slight he harbors a deep animosity towards those who attempt to deceive him it is said that some of his political adversaries, who had seemingly made amends with him, have all met their untimely deaths. How were those people died? Provide me more details. Some tragically drowned after falling into a well, some met an unfortunate fate while fishing, unexpectedly dragged into the river by a massive fish some mysteriously died while traveling to a neighboring country we'd better go back to Xiaozu as soon as possible thankfully, you mentioned that Lord Shao won't bear any grudges against you. Any more just relax. Princess he came across my outline and he even saw the design for the custom made anklet he expressed a willingness to made amends with me so so I might have become a thorn in his side I was foolish or believe his words, and enjoyed carefree days for so long does he have anything that he wants but cannot obtain? We can cater to his preferences given his prestigious position, I believe there is no such things are there any upcoming festivals? No or birthdays in a household? No why didn't I listen to Frost's advice back then? Why did I flirt with him? Of course, it was because she was blinded by beauty that was the beginning of our story. Two years ago, dear city what do you think of him? He's truly remarkable I've never seen such a dashing and outstanding man I think the same way princess, why are you asking? Are you planning to make him your consort? That would only benefit me I want to use him for something more meaningful if I bring him into the academy, he will become the academy's shining star, attracting more people to come and learn just look at his skilled archery and swordsmanship, he's clearly a chivalrous individual if he saves me, I can use the opportunity to repay him and get closer to him plan to rescue the heroine three days later there's some commotion outside the door, your highness princess. Looks like someone from inside is about to come out let's execute the plan swiftly understood help, sir these people are trying to kidnap me you mean, these officials from the authorities trying to kidnap you? Sir princess shall we continue? No need to continue, the plan has failed. Princess, I strongly oppose recruiting this person into the academy he is so indifferent I believe he simply saw through our plan where did we go wrong? Lacked a sense of ruthlessness? clothes are too pristine? He's truly perceptive he noticed the flaw in an instant certainly lives up to my admiration judging by his demeanor and conduct, it's evident that he comes from a remarkable background dear city lies on the border between the Xiaozu and the day, teeming with a mix of individuals if we were to encounter a lawless threat, it could be dangerous shall we consider changing our target? or they easily to melancholy and thoughts of self-harm our nation excessively values art and superficial beauty it feels somewhat insecure. Anyway, he hasn't been influenced by the prevailing trends in our country actually, princess, if someone as icy and reserved as him, could timidly reveal his own charm it might not be a bad thing regardless, it's him if it doesn't work out this time. There's always the next even if he's as fierce as a tiger two years later he really is as fierce as a tiger it's a relief that we didn't disrespect him back then let's put the past behind us there's no need to bring up the past again now, let me try to make up for our past mistakes and fix the situation your highness, I've followed your orders and spread word of the stories. Within the mansion princess Xing Chen was taken aback did she get scared and run away? No. She didn't princess Xing Chen. Hurry up and be careful not to break any gift she's here to bring you gifts is that a pink parrot? 
Lord Sha- Oh I heard it was your 22nd birthday two months ago, so I prepared 22 gifts especially for you Princess Xingqin is getting being so diligent suddenly, in 20, even buying gifts for everyone in the household could it be that I has some ulterior motive against Lord Sha- Oh look how big this turtle is when I saw it. I immediately thought of you I hope you can live as long and carefree as it does is this really not meant as a mockery? So infuriating it seems like Princess Xingqin has no hidden agenda against Lord Sha- Oh this is a pine bonsai, symbolizing longevity and good fortune this is a jade charm, wishing you all the best and good luck this ice a gold may tambourine and then there's that didn't you say we should strictly stick to business? Oh come on. They are filled with good intentions. If I play my cards right, maybe Lord Sha Oh will be nice to me. You've given me so many gifts, including an old turtle that looks grumpy, and strange trinkets that no gift store can ever sell. This is a golden ox bringing good luck. Look how strong and impressive it is. If you don't like the golden ox, I can get you a different one. Lord Sha Oh, look and what about this? A frog with a bird on its head. Not an attractive piece at all. This is symbolizing harmony. How did these two get here? They were free gifts from the store Lord Sha Oh. I overheard them saying they were freebies Lord Sha Oh. If you give a nod to the proposal on bilateral trade, I promise to prepare a special gift for you every year. If I don't agree to your proposal, will you stop giving me gifts? Of course not if you agree, I will personally deliver them to you every year if you don't agree. I will still have them sent through someone else I appreciate that even with your busy schedule of pleasure, you still remember to celebrate my 22nd birthday. I reluctantly accept these gifts I heard that you've been thoroughly enjoying yourself in Lijing capital, and even became an esteemed guest at Murray's Mingshan Pavilion. Could it be that the Lord Sha Oh thinks I'm indulging too much in luxury? My visits to Mingshan Pavilion were not solely for tea and admiring beauties I considered how you toil day in and day out, surely experiencing backaches and fatigue so, I went there to learn some massage techniques so, how did my studies go? I haven't quite mastered the art of massage yet, but as long as you remember my intentions, there will be plenty of opportunities I don't mind thank you well, here's the question, how should I go about the massage? I only know how to do this why don't you come here, princess? Here I am this familiar sensation, even before being near him, my heart is already fluttering incessantly clutch Xingqin. Sorry about that it was a little slip of the hand is it just second nature now, or did that teach you to flirt and be open to both genders certainly not, I didn't do it intentionally it truly was an accident even through the fabric, I can feel the muscles I wonder how it has changed compared to a few years ago I have a suggestion. Why don't you take your clothes off and I can provide a more effective massage using some essential oils. How about giving it a try? Princess Xingqin, in day I understand. That you value propriety you might not agree with me crossing the line, if we continue our relationship, we can explore different possibilities wouldn't you be jealous in that case? Why would be jealous? I think you've misunderstood so forget it if you need to please others, would you be willing to do this? Of course not, I am a princess of a nation what if it's someone exceptionally charming? Why didn't I control my hand princess, what you need to control is not your hand, but your heart there's no need to be so straightforward. This is the spring breeze brew brought to you by since that day, when I committed the terrible act against Lord Sha Oh Lord Sha Oh advises you to stay indoors for the next days if you're bored. You can read a book Lord Sha Oh truly possesses an unwavering spirit he pays no attention to me I apologize for my misconduct if it displeases you, I promise to never harbor any improper intentions towards you Lord Sha Oh or perhaps I could still allow you to touch my waist move please where are you heading? I need to go somewhere. Where nobody would dare to lay a hand on me blinded by desire, I fall to princess. Look there's a pink parrot with a scarf around its neck it bears a striking resemblance to you oh no, how did that parrot end up in front of the princess Xingqin? Will be killed for this? It does seem to resemble me a bit princess Xingqin, please allow me to take the parrot back is this Lord Sha Oh's bird? Yes, it is he actually keeps such a pet? 
Could it be that he finds solace in a parrot that resembles me, a lingering attachment to unfulfilled desires? You may rest now I will personally return this parrot to Lord Shao. oh my gosh. I always felt that Lord Shao was unpredictable, get irritated easily, but now I finally understand I failed to express that I still remembered the promises we made at that time I even claimed that I wouldn't harbor any romantic feelings for him anymore wasn't just fanning the flames all along? I feel so foolish for believing that he genuinely wanted to separate himself from me he clearly speaks with a deceptive tongue I've been bullied again Lord Sho, I've brought your parrot back to you I'll take my leave now oh, is this black parrot also yours? It's just like you, so awe-inspiring and lively Lord Sha oh, it seems you still have lingering feelings for me even the parrot resembles us I'm the parrot you love the most allowing this pink parrot to bully the black parrot just as I suspected. There's no need for you to overthink it how can I not overthink when it's thanks to them, that I realized you still have feelings for me, have feelings for you? That's quite a joke are you daydreaming in broad daylight? Isn't it obvious? Otherwise, why would you keep a parrot that looks just like us? Oh, it's just a coincidence they have such unique colors, and they've been companions since they were little someone I couldn't bring myself to refuse their kind gesture I swear he wanted to barbecue me when he saw me and yet, you tolerate this parrot's tantrums? Well, despite its ornery nature, it's still just a parrot I won't make a fuss about it so, you're saying their colors, are merely a coincidence? This pink parrot, with its glossy and plump feathers, even shares the same surname as my Nixiaoklage indeed that's not true. Lord Shao, look into my eyes, and tell me that you no longer have feelings for me grab I don't have feelings for you I don't believe that Princess Xingqin, do you think I would hold on to someone who enjoys manipulating and deceiving me? Under normal circumstances, that would never happen, so I never considered it do you think I would make the same mistake twice with the same person? Or do you think that L, who never lacks suitors, would be unable to forget a brief love affair from the past? I understand that countless noble ladies would eagerly pursue you, yearning to become your girl but love is not always ruled by logic Princess Xingqin, I was in love with a girl who was loyal and loved me with all her being she told me that while she didn't desire marriage, she was willing to be by my side forever I would never fall for who manipulates others and uses any means to achieve their goals I have a strong sense of emotional purity I could be the girl who remains loyal and devoted to you lie he won't love you why does it despise me so much? How much love could I possibly have left for someone who is insincere? Even if I once had strong feelings for you, I can't help but feel that it was all a ploy she must want to play mind games correct not even a little? Just one more glance, and I can't help but find you utterly repulsive weren't you terrified of encountering me before? Don't worry, I won't chase after you relentlessly don't insult my self-respect. Birdie, you know, it doesn't matter if the plan fails as long as he still has even a slight affection for me, I can seize the opportunity to win him over no way, girl how can I charm him? Hasn't the princess returned yet? Oh, where is she? Could it be that she's so overwhelmed with sadness? How could a princess resort to climbing through a window? Xuan why do you claim not to like me? Please, stop asking but if you truly dislike me, why did you clandestinely enter my room, without even wearing clothes? Nonsense, this is clearly my room I had just finished bathing and you climbed in through the window I never knew that the esteemed Lord Shao would resort to distorting the truth it's evident that you're trying to see me using your allure to keep me by your side however, I willingly to your scheme. You still blush whenever I kiss you, just like in the past shameless have you found a new girlfriend. None of your business looks like you haven't what a coincidence I haven't found a new love either if you keep this up. I'm going to call the bouncers go ahead then everyone will know you barged into my room, and they'll know you're mine I knew you wouldn't you heard I came today, so you took charge of our two countries trade and you used this to make me live into your mansion whenever you see me, you shyly avoid eye contact. Yet here you are, coming to find me in the middle of the night Xuan, you're interested in me you're intoxicated does being intoxicated change the fact that you like me? 
Xuan, embrace me, kiss me don't be so distant you're not allowed to address me that way but I will, Xuan it hurts princess, Klitsch Xingqin we've already ended our relationship, our love has long run out you can't treat any man this way I only treat you this way can't our old flame be reignited? No, it can't once the bond has been broken, it cannot be repaired even a shattered bond can be revived by passion today, I'll show you, just how passionate I can be. Xingqin Xuan, you smell amazing what soap are you using? Leave me alone your birds are all paired up, so should we be that's not a good idea well, we're already quite familiar with each other's bodies, so why I resist? But right now, I'm repulsed by you finally, she stops sob, not only are you so harsh to me, but you also detest me you stop crying. Sob, you don't love me anymore you used to lovingly kiss my tears and you used to enjoy it when I called you Xuan but now, you won't let me call you that way you refuse to admit your feelings for me, so stop being so stubborn Xingqin tugging and pulling you used my full name and you even hurt me you're a bad person despite losing me, you haven't withered away in fact, your muscles have become even more toned and your chest looks so strong.